Well, there is a reason why there is no 100 ton light tank that can move about 70 ish kilometers per hour top speed. It is super unbalanced, gameplay wise, and also realistically physics wise. Yeah, it's practically improbable to have such a large vehicle running that fast, but the best you could do is about 30 ish tons moving at about 100 kilometers per hour top speed with the rocket boosters and you have no ramming damage pretty nice also no repair cost and you respawn every five seconds so that's also pretty nice but the only counter to becoming a predator missile is they having the same perk of no ramming damage and you look goofy <laughs> dealing zero damage while being stuck against a more health more armored medium tank uh, that was bad <laughs> <laughs> so the only downside is you will die a lot very frequently but you deal a lot of ramming damage to light tanks and medium tanks and some tank destroyers but then again if you have the stuff if you're running fast you actually deal quite a lot of damage to heavy tanks as well so becoming a missile on wheels practically a predator missile or I think more like a Maverick missile, but it is optically guided, so it's more like a tow missile, in a sense. <laughs> That's so dumb, but you will die pretty much every time you respawn. <laughs> so look at this Gonzalo. Ooh, I'll ram ya <laughs> with rocket boosters. <laughs> also, you deal crushing damage without taking crushing damage in return because it's counted as ramming damage. That's fun. <laughs> the only downside is, like I said, the counter of the same perk. So don't go ramming into the T-54 prototype again. Otherwise, you'll deal no damage. <laughs> it's so dumb. You die so often, but it doesn't matter. Death is not a counter towards your winning of the points. It's only about damage. So do all the damage you can. Ooh. Props to the IS-3 Paragon, but he's not spamming gold shell for some reason. All the gold shell, all the gold shells are free. Not toxic, so. God, this is so dumb. Running about like a maniac. I don't recommend you doing this in like something of a heavy tank because yes, you have the weight, but you're too slow if you die to get back into the fight. Light tanks are more favorable as well as fast medium tanks but yeah don't play heavy tanks with this perk unless you're just trying to counter the suiciding bombing light tanks you can scream all the Allahu Akbar you want or Banzai you want <laughs> as you ram somebody but <laughs> yeah it's not for heavy tanks well only for heavy tanks to counter but it's still pretty fun it's becoming your own Call of Duty kill streak, practically. I mean, it's a way to play this game, so it's actually pretty nice. But damn, this Type 59, poof! Oh, 500 alpha, not half bad. Just without the rocket boosters. But we're back with the Gonzalo into the ass and yeet <laughs> right into his ass. Uh, 600 damage, and I, I'm dead. Afterwards. Yes, you could try hard. You could play about 10 minutes without dying, getting about 10,000 damage. Yes, you could do that, but it gets old after a while. So you're going back to light tank and becoming a suiciding Ugh. Cyberman, practically. Yam trying people into the face. That's a Dragon, Dragon Ball reference, so I'm a nerd. Great. Cyberman. Just. Step on the freaking projectile and dealing about 500 damage and burn him while I'm at it. Alright, so the best light tank I think for this sort of a build is probably the LT-432. I mean, it has a low silhouette, has a decent enough hull armor at the front, so ramming into the, the slope armor is pretty decent. Also, it's pretty fast as well. Also trollish in terms of armor, so I think LT432 uh, LT is probably the best. 
I mean, it also weighs a lot too, about 28-ish tons. Whereas the other light tanks are about 20-ish tons. Boof. <laughs> Oops. Oh, the Gonzalo has the damage buff and the health buff now, so we cannot contest with that guy. So obviously just don't go randomly, mindlessly ramming into somebody. Pick your targets. You know, be smart about your <laughs> suiciding targets. Uh, but we're going to ram something else, like the heavy tanks, which normally doesn't have the ramming perk, but oh don't ram the don't ram the T54 prototype. Uh, don't ram him, he's not gonna take damage, I forgot! <laughs> Damn it! I forgot that he doesn't take any damage uh, from ramming. Oh, he shields up for no reason! <laughs> Alright, ram! Ooh. No, not like this! Oh. Uh, so, yeah, don't ram into a mass of people. Obviously, choose a long target. That's the best idea. <laughs> Single-handedly take out one specific target, not into a, not into a crowd of people. Even though that's against intuition of the of the realistic guy. Uh, it's not racist whatsoever. Ah, uh, take bully this bulldog. Yes, bully him. Yeah, you cannot run away. You have no ramming perk. But oh, does he have the ramming perk? Oh, I think he might. Oh, let's see. Oh, he takes no ramming damage, but he is brittle, so he is a light tank. <laughs> he has the perk, but he doesn't have the the small body and the silhouette. <laughs> what other light tanks are good for this build? The LTTB? The LTTB doesn't weigh as much. It weighs about 22-ish tons, so you're not as chunky of a boy to go ramming. Um, you could do medium tanks, like the Chasseur de Chars or AMX CDC, but that thing could only go up to like 50-ish kilometers per hour top speed, maybe 60, but not that great. So I wouldn't recommend it, but... Mm. Uh, Bulldog is big, it still weighs a hefty 25 tons, but yeah, your armor is more reliable than the Bulldog. So that's the upside. Bounce two shots from him. I'll chase him down. <laughs> He's on fire twice. Oh. But yeah, not a half bad build. I mean, there's only two fun builds. One is this build. The other one is just unkillable build. Uh, you could do the griefing build, but that's not as fun. So yeah, this perk. Don't underestimate this perk. It's so dumb. Just surprised to find a light tank coming at you with about 100 kilometers per hour top speed, and you're just like, "What the hell is going on?" God, I'm going to bully this bulldog. Jesus, <laughs> he takes no ramming damage. I'm just, oh crap, I die, dude. Cool. Let's do the same it's a mess. It really is a mess. But hey, Good. you respawn pretty quickly, so that's. A <laughs> Oh, there you go, folks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this mode, but um, I don't think there's any other fun class. You could do artillery, I guess, but that's only for the FE-304 to be fun because it's fast. You respawn pretty quickly, but it's still light tanks are more favorable, I think. Uh, Banzai! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Banzai twice. Alright, take out the bull. Uh, pull, pull on the bulldog a little bit more. <laughs> did this bet pick on the bulldog? <laughs> this bulldog got picked on so much. Oh god. Oh, uh, so dumb. Oh jeez. Alright, ISU. Why well, bounce a shell from my ISU? Holy crap! Am I too far away from this Gonzalo to shoot at him? Okay, back with the Bulldog, yeah. <laughs> Go pick on the Bulldog again. Oh! Oh, he wants some. Oh, please. Do let's. Oh, fuck. I'm fire. I'm fire twice. Damn. Oh, there you go, folks. Oh, Banzai charge. 
your own personal suicide bomber, practically. Well, you, you don't suicide, you just bomb, but they're practically dead afterwards. But still, I mean, it's it's still pretty fun. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this mode, uh, try out some random builds, but it's a shame that they're only limited to tier 8 and tier 6 and 7. So what if you get like tier 10s with the FE215B183? That would be fun, you shotgun people, but then again, you're not as fast. Debatable. Well, we'll see what happens, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.